Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to track objects in Final Cut Pro 10 with no plugins. This is the original clip, a guy playing football in a snowy field. As you know, now it's the European Championship and the Copa America, so I think this kind of sets in the mood. So this footage is about 13 seconds long and I'm going to focus on the football itself. First up, I'm going to go to view and choose show horizon. After that, go to the transform position and scale option to create two keyframes. If you like, you can create the keyframe in rotation as well, but not really for this case. After that, right click on the clip and show video animation. And before I move anything, I'm going to start with, you know, deciding the movement, the scaling and start tracing the uh, boss movement. So I decided to start with this frame and I'm gonna scale, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and change the position as well. And this is the first sort of a tracking movement. And after that, I'm gonna press my right arrow key and frame by frame, I'm gonna adjust, you know, the position of X and Y axis. So if you want to be very, very ultra precise, you can choose to be like me to change the position only at the X and Y axis position over here at a inspector or else you can always go to the bottom left hand corner and find transform and after that you realize that there are dots the keyframes showing the movement on the screen this shows that you can actually drag the screen and press right arrow key I find that this way is easier to do and uh, yeah the precision wise is quite all right and after everything I'm gonna change the view percentage to a smaller one so I can play the entire clip and show me the flaws such as you know this part there is like a black bar over at the right side so I'm gonna readjust the position and scale and redo all the keyframing parts yeah the boring part again and after adjusting everything, the draft will be something like this. You realize that the center of the focus is always on the ball. However, there are some black bars, black spots, you know, at the side or at the bottom of the clip. So here comes the secret sauce. So first, I'm gonna go to effects column and find prism, drag prism to the clip itself and go to the start of the video and change the amount to zero and create a keyframe. A few frames later, I'm gonna create another keyframe and boost the amount. After a few frames, I'm gonna change the amount back to zero. This step actually helps to smooth the sudden abrupt, you know, zoom in effect and it can help you to minimize and cover out some uh, flaws of your video editing for your motion tracking because you know sometimes it's not as good looking to have some spots that you know the, the whole footage is not really smooth you know shaky kind of effect so with this prism effect it helps you to smooth out the entire shakiness of this entire video and after everything is done and you still realize that at the side of the clip there are still black bars and yep it's still not nice to have this kind of stuff so I'm gonna do is select this clip and press option NG and create a new compound clip I'm gonna rename this to football and after that I'm gonna scale in zoom in to say 104% or even up to 108% after that the end result is pretty amazing of course you can add in sound effects such as football hits and you know glitch effects for your prism effects in the video and that's all you need to do for today's tutorial and hope you guys enjoy this bye bye